My name is Mohamed Tabarra. I lead the tunnel ventilation team globally in Arab. I oversee a group of engineers in London, New York, Toronto, Istanbul and Sydney offices. Arup is an independent consulting firm and that allows us to give uh, impartial and fair advice to our clients. We look at not only the tunneling structure itself but all the other disciplines that provide an environment inside the tunnel which is both safe and comfortable for human use. So above all, what we bring to our new clients is really 30 years of experience on iconic projects uh, across the world. The Second Avenue subway project in New York was a new subway line joining North uh, District Harlem in Manhattan to the South uh, Financial District. What we learned from that project was the complex nature of trying to deliver ventilation in highly built metropolitan areas. We managed to save a lot of excavated space in the stations as well as uh, fewer equipment which were being used for multiple purposes. That project really gave us the confidence that uh, we can deliver even in the tightest spaces. It actually catapulted our team into going after other projects like this around the world. St. Haven is a new metro line which is going to connect onto an existing metro line. This is five new stations which are going to serve as the south part of Copenhagen. One of the main challenges for this is integrating it with an existing line and ensuring that our ventilation system does not interfere with the existing ventilation system and they can work together side by side. It's been tricky at times and we've had to come up with unique methods to tackle those challenges. We had platform screen doors which helped a lot so then we were able to extract from directly over the train and the, minimize how much smoke gets into the station as well at the same time. So you could have very direct extraction from right above a train fire which really helped in reducing the fan sizes. The fans are only used during emergency or, or congested scenarios so we're designing a metro system where we can ventilate through piston effect which is the effect of a train passing through a tunnel and, and that self-ventilates. Eurasia Road Tunnel is a five kilometer tunnel going from Europe to Asia in Istanbul and it's going under the seabed. The detailed design of this tunnel was carried out in 2008. So the data which it's designed for were out of date. And after months of simulations, we come up with a new schedule compatible with the realities of the tunnel. And after that, we had a verification stage and we adjusted the fans and applied our new suggested operation system. The main outcome of our project was to operate the tunnel efficiently. Chang Airport in Singapore is going through a big expansion development project. There is a lot of tunnels between the existing terminals and new terminals. These tunnels are combined services tunnels, baggage handling system tunnels and automated people mover tunnels. We are designing a whole tunnel ventilation system for these and we define the location of the fans, the operation principles of the system in general and also we do detailed analysis in these tunnels in 3D to see the behavior of airflow in there to decide the fan capacities and exact power consumption. This is very important for sustainable and efficient operation in the long run because Singapore is a hot climate and these fans need to be operated full-time. So our reputation is the technical excellence in our iconic projects. We want to be seen as approachable to our clients, transparent and open. I'm very conscious of all the decisions that we make today are going to have an impact on the energy consumption and uh, all the aspects on the environment that we are all aware of. And we would like to say to our potential clients, bring your project challenges to us and together we will endeavor to find simple, cost-effective and sustainable solutions, whatever the scale of the project, wherever it is in the world.